as a new decade dawned four years ago. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made one of their most shocking moves on this day in 2020. The Sussexes made the bombshell announcement that they would be stepping back from their royal roles and quitting the UK. Their sensational statement sent shockwaves around the world and was even said to have blindsided some in the royal family. It prompted the late Queen to call an extraordinary family meeting, now known as the Sandringham Summit, where she, Harry, then Prince Charles and Prince William tried to thrash out a way forward. Afterwards, the former monarch issued an unprecedented statement, where she said Harry, Meghan and Archie will always be much-loved members of my family and added, I recognize the challenges they have experienced as a result of intense scrutiny over the last two years, and support their wish for a more independent life. And according to the Telegraph, after the summit, Harry, who had always been close to his late grandmother, regretted how he had blindsided her. An insider said, I don't think he fully appreciated the impact the statement would have in terms of them. Not consulting the Queen, he regrets that. In the past four years since the Sussexes sensationally quit as working royals, the last twelve months have certainly been their most eventful. Harry released his controversial memoir Spare. They were dropped from their multi-million dollar Spotify deal. The Prince's Invictus Games in Germany was a huge success and rumors buzzed about Meghan possibly restarting her lifestyle blog, The Tig. But as we head into 2024, experts say there is only one way forward for the couple, who were brutally branded losers by The Hollywood Reporter. However, according to royal expert Dr. Tessa Dunlop, Harry and Meghan have been able to retain talkability in 2023, and it could be their high-risk strategy sees them well into the new year, she explained. Despite all the rumors, their marriage appears solid, and they remain one of the few global brands that can knock wars and international disasters off the front pages. The question for 2024 is whether they can convert that clickbait appeal into something more durable. A lot of the media storms the Sussexes generated this year have been hangovers from the truth bombs detonated in the wake of their departure from the royal family in 2020. Beyond the Invictus Games and accompanying Netflix series, Archewell Productions has been conspicuous by its absence. What comes next really matters? Presumably that's why they are taking their time. While a reconciliation with the royal family looks unlikely in the near future, further attacks on the monarchy would be a mistake, with the couple insisting they're looking to the future. There's talk of a total system reboot. And Meghan has promised exciting things on the slate. We know our Chewell Productions is adapting the novel. Meet Me at the Lake for Television, the romantic storyline, which includes a fatal car crash, leans into the Sussex's personal brand, while all eyes are on where. And when Meghan will launch a much predicted business venture akin to her old lifestyle blog Tig, the couple appears to thrive on a high risk strategy. But with so many people willing them to fail, they cannot afford to further squander their brand in 2024. The world is watching.